Hi, and welcome to another video. In this video, I am proudly presenting a new script for the Allen Synthesis Europi shown here, called the Aggressus Melodium, or Stepped Melodies. The Aggressus Melodium generates a looping CV pattern, six of them actually, one for each of the outputs here. And those CB patterns can be used to generate melodies by pushing them into a quantizer or sent to any CV input, for example, pulse width modulation on a VCO, wave shaper inputs, filter cutoff, or any of the inputs on noise engineering modules, actually. It can also be used as a clockable LFO with up to eight different wave shapes. So join me while we explore the different functions and then introduce the script into a number of different patches. Okay, so let's go through the different wave shapes. So um, if we set the pattern length to one step, so using knob one, that will put it into LFO mode. If we use button two to select output one, and then we can use knob two to select the uh, the division of the clock. So let's set the division of the clock to three. So we have a clock coming here and that basically means that the step will change on output one every three clocks. So let's um, set that to triangle first using button one and then we'll plug it in. There we go. So we can see on the scope we have a triangle wave. Let's go through the different wave shapes. So we have sine. We have exponential up and exponential down. We have a shark tooth type shape, which is a logarithmic on the rising side and exponential on the falling side. We have reverse shark tooth, so exponential on the rising side and logarithmic on the falling side. We have a sort of stepped log. So this is logarithmic on the rising side of a little step, and then exponential on the falling side of a bit of a step. Here we have a step on the rising side, and then exponential on the falling side. So it's essentially, uh, it just softens a square wave a little. And back to square. Now if we change the pattern length to something greater than one, it plays a CV pattern using the wave shape. So let's change the division down to one so it plays a bit quicker. That sounds pretty good. If we want to generate a new pattern, we just press and hold button one for longer than two seconds. See the indicator pop up? There we go, and now we've got a different pattern. So we have a pretty good pattern there. It's essentially going out of the Plague of Demons to a filter. I'm controlling the, the cutoff of the filter. So why don't we next modulate the pulse width modulation? So let's take this green cable, plug it into output 2. Output 2 is the blue trace here. And we have a shark tooth shape. So essentially it's using the shark tooth slew shape to slew between steps rather than having the step. Let's try a few different ones here. So reverse shark tooth. So that sounds pretty good. I think we'll keep it at that actually. And then for the third output, we have this going to another filter cutoff. Um, CV control on the filter. So that means we can create sort of a secondary pattern. Let's plug that in. We can see the shape there. Selecting number three. So this is a division of one, so changing with every clock step, and we're using a triangle slew shape. Let's try it with a different, uh, a few different slew shapes. That sounds pretty good, actually. Nice rhythm there. So slightly smoother with the sign, I quite like that. And with exponential up and down, it creates a slightly sharper wave. 
Shark tooth, softer on the fall, sharper on the, sorry, softer on the rise, sharper on the fall, the reverse, shark tooth is the opposite. I quite like that actually. And if we wanted to generate a new pattern just for channel 3, with channel 3 selected, we can press and hold button 1. Oh, I like that actually, that's cool. So because it loops, everything is going to be in sync, so all the CV patterns are going to be in sync. But what we can do is change the pattern length, which changes the pattern length for all of the outputs. So we're on 8 at the moment, let's bring that down to 4. Cool, good for creating a bit of tension. We can go to odd patterns, so here's 5. 7. And we can go all the way up to 32 steps. So that's 16, 24, and 32 steps. So essentially we can have a, a pattern that varies over 32 steps. If we divide that by 8, then we can have a pattern that varies over 32 times by 8 steps. I'll let you do the math on that one. In this patch, I'm using the Aggressus Melodium to generate melodies. So I'm pushing the Aggressus Melodium, the uh, output number two here, through a sample and hold, just off screen. The sample and hold is being clocked at the same rate that the uh, Aggressus Melodium is. So we can use that to our advantage to get um, repeating melodies. Um, out of the sample and hold, it's going into a quantizer and then into a, um, the, the vault octave coming out of the quantizer is going to the Plague of Demons. Then I have the Plague of Demons going out to a VCA with an envelope being triggered when the notes change. Also, I have um, a little bit of uh, filtering and a slight delay effect from the qubit data bender off screen. I am modulating the filter effect with output number three. That's going into the CV. I'm using, uh, if you've got the Cubic Data Bender, it's the DJ filter that I'm using and I'm modulating that. And I'm also, from output number one here, you can probably see it, it's going into the pulse width modulation. So those two things are just giving the patch a little bit of character. So um, I'll start off by having a, um, I don't know what you want to call that, wave shape, step up, exponential down, and the clock division for this LFO is divided by 4. So by changing the divisions and the shapes, we can create all sorts of different melodies. So let's have a play now. So whenever I'm adjusting the knob on the right, I'm adjusting the output division. And whenever I'm pressing the button on the left, I'm changing the wave shape. And you will see the wave shape change and the duration change when I'm making those changes.
this batch I have Manus Ateritas for noise engineering being modulated by the aggressors. Mainly stepped CV patterns and we have an eight step pattern coming out here. Uh, I say mainly that as you can see on the uh, on the scope here there are some with different slews um, but mainly stepped CV patterns and we have all six outputs going into six different inputs on the Manus. Um, I'm going to play around with the patch, not by changing the looping patterns, but this time changing the attenuated, uh, the attenuation values. So three key values here. This one is the envelope, so going into the envelope input on Manus. The uh, bottom, or the top one here, is going into the smash input. And then finally, this attenuator here is going into the low pass filter input. And by varying these, we can create loads of well, really nice industrial type rhythms. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so in this patch I'm using Aggressus Melodium to um, essentially control three separate voices. The first voice is a fast moving melody, you can see the blue line. The second voice is a slower moving melody. And then the third voice is a percussive voice from the Bacillimus Atiritas Alter. The um, stepped melodies being generated here in tracks one and two at the top, they're being pushed through a quantizer. Track three here, this um, slower moving, smoother wave, is controlling the wave shaping of voice one. And um, the purple line at the bottom is controlling the filter cutoff of voice two. So this is the Europi here, and then this is the quantizer, of the ornament and cry. So let's have a listen to voice one first of all. This is the um, the first voice. When I'm uh, playing around with the patch, I'm essentially going to be just adjusting the pattern length, and we're going to use the pattern length to create a few different variations of this. So um, let's have a listen to voice one first. Okay, and next, voice two, the slower moving melody. And finally, the percussive voice. Around with the pattern lens, see how it changes the overall pattern.
the Aggressus Melodium script for the Allen Synthesis Europi. If you're interested in playing around with this script and you don't currently have a, a Europi from Allen Synthesis, see the links below in the video description. If you do have a Europi and you want to load this script onto your Europi, I've provided links to the code in the video description. Alternatively, you can wait and this will be included in an upcoming Europi release. Thanks for watching.